আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর অশনারা বেগম অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ফরেনসিক মেডিসিন টুডে আওয়ার টপিক ফর ডিসকাশন ইজ ফরেনসিক নার্সিং অ্যান্ড ইমার্জিং ফিল্ড ইন দি সায়েন্স অ্যাজ ওয়েল অ্যাজ মেডিক্যাল সায়েন্স অলসো ফরেনসিক সায়েন্স টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য টার্ম ফরেনসিক নার্সিং ফার্স্ট উই মাস্ট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য টার্মিনোলজি দ্যাট এক্সিস্ট সাম অফ হুইচ মিস ইন্টারপ্রেট দ্য কমপ্লেক্স নলেজ অ্যান্ড স্কিল অফ প্রফেশনাল নার্সিং The word nurse originated from the Latin word nutrix which means to nourish. Most definitions of nurse and nursing describe the nurse as a person who nourishes, fosters and protects as well as prepare to take care of sick, injured and aged persons. Nursing is an art and science that is concerned with health promotion, health maintenance and also health restoration. Nurses, a person, usually a woman, trained to care for the sick. The founder of modern nursing is Florence Nightingale. As she defined nursing over 100 years of ago, the age of utilizing an environment of the patient to assist him in his recovery is nursing. Then the term forensic. derived from the latin word forensis that means something pertaining to form a forum in ancient rome the forum was a marketplace where people gathered not just to buy things but also conduct all kinds of business including that of public affairs forensic not only about the dead person but also about the living people only the term forensic medicine also known as state medicine or legal medicine is a branch of medicine which deals with application of medical knowledge to the knowledge of both civil and criminal laws to aid the administration of justice branches of forensic medicine include vast field as clinical forensic medicine forensic pathology forensic dactylography forensic ballistics psychiatry forensic serology thanatology obstetrics osteology odontology toxicology radiology criminology and also forensic nursing forensic medicine including the vast field of clinical forensic medicine that involves application of clinical methods to ad- aid the administration of justice the scope of which includes physical assault victim sexual assault victim identification of an individual age determination disputed paternity as well as distributed maternity and also poisoning cases so forensic nursing is another spectrum of forensic science combining both medical as well as legal affairs and activities the founder of forensic nursing is virginia lynch also known as mother of forensic nursing she is an american forensic nurse educator and consultant discovered her passion for the field in 1982 Forensic nursing is defined as application of forensic science combined with clinical nursing practices as they are applied to public or legal proceedings in the law enforcement arena. It is the newest specialty and an area of interest to investigation or treatment of certain cases such as violence, abuse, cruelty, criminal activity, also traumatic accidents. So What is forensic nurse? To know the forensic nurse, she is a registered nurse or advanced practice nurse who receives specialized education and training to provide care to patient who experiences victimization or violence. It is a unique specialty that blends the world of nursing, science, also legal system. A nurse who is known as forensic nurse is specialized in certain facts as forensic evidence collection criminal procedures and legal testimony expertise a forensic nurse has a specialty in the role playing as clinical forensic nurse san that is known as sexual assault nurse examiner legal nurse consultant forensic psychiatric nurse forensic pediatric nurse forensic correctional nurse forensic gerontology nurse nurse attorney death investigation also known as forensic nurse investigator and finally forensic nurse educator in different institutes now 
One of the scope of forensic nursing is in case of Bangladesh OCC that is one stop crisis center located in every medical colleges in district level. The Ministry of Women's and Children Affairs has two agencies including Department of Women's Affairs and Jatiyo Mohila Shangshod. This has been implemented a program since 2001 which has set up about 12 one-stop crisis centers operating in 12 medical colleges that are Dhaka and Rajshahi as pilot program phase of project also Silet, Chittagong, Kulna, Borishal, Rangpur, Poritpur, Cox's Bazar, Pabna, Bogura and Kumilla. All these the women and children who are facing any trial are to be placed in these homes to keep them away from traditional onset of prisons. The form of violence that are reported are physical assault, sexual assault, also barred in case of dowry deaths. One stop crisis center is a significant component of the program in the medical college as well as medical college hospitals. It provides all the required services for a woman victim of violence in a place such as healthcare, police assistance, legal assistance, social service, shelter service, psychological counseling service and finally the specifically DNA testing service. Now some terminology. To assess there are sexual assault, sexual abuse and sexual violence. Sexual assault is an unwanted act involving sexual conduct usually inflict upon force a person without her consent and sexual abuse is an act of violence which the attacker uses against someone that they perceive as weaker than them and finally sexual violence it is an act or attempt of any sexual nature that a person did not consent to it is an umbrella term for encompassing a wide range of acts including both not limited to rape also sexual assault sexual harassment stalking unwanted touching etc also known as undecent assault now gender based violence it is a violence directed against a person because of their gender both women and men experiences these violences but majority are always female it takes numerous form as intimate par partner violence sexual violence child marriage child trafficking, female infanticide, etc. Now, SEN. SEN is a registered nurse who has been specially trained to provide comprehensive care to sexual assault patients who demonstrate competency in conducting a forensic examination and the ability to an expert witness. The elaboration of SEN is sexual assault nurse examiner. SART. SART is another term that complies sexual assault response team. It is a team comprising professionals who work to coordinate an immediate quality multidisciplinary victim centered response to sexual assaults in a community including law enforcement, medical response team, prosecution, center, lab, etc. Now, the most important thing in our forensic nursing is examination of rape victim. Usually, we does not say that the persons are victim of rape, but we say them as survivor. Sexual victim examination is done in stepwise manner. Most common are rape in our country. For doing the rape victim examination, we follow the steps that are prerequisition, examination proper involving general examination and local examination finally sample collection and sent for investigation prerequisition including the rape victim examination are first of all authorization form from the legal authority that can be a magistrate and in common cases police investigation identification by an accompanying police constable also with free copy passport size photo Consent of the victim or survivor that is known as informed written consent that involving the person who are giving consent are well informed about the situation and further outcome. And finally, presence of third person female attendance as an alibi. The investigations we do in case of rape victim examination or sexual assault victim examination are 
seminal analysis for this the sample is collected is high vaginal swab radiological examination that is x-ray to determine the age of the victim blood examination that is mainly involving the toxicological analysis whether this conduct was under drug induced or not then finally dna analysis with dna samples these dna samples are collected from the rape victim as well as the suspected accused person from the rape victim we collect vaginal swab cervical smear pubic hair that are foreign otherwise old scalp hair loose hair found on the body of the victim own clothing or undergarments swab from the bite mark scraping from nail bed and stain whether it is a blood stain or seminal stain and finally the body fluid that is blood and urine in case of accused person we collect the samples from his cloth foreign pubic hair as well as the own pubic hair his scalp hair swab from glands urethral swab swab from the bite marks and finally blood fluid that is blood in all these cases chain of custody should be maintained as an example from a crime scene to a new scene then the samples are collected and sent to dna laboratory following as exhibits and dna isolation finally dna qualification and amplification and genotyping so the significance of forensic nursing are vast as different scopes are to play in case of physical trauma like as common in our country domestic violences teaching institutes as the nursing educator sexual assault cases as i have mentioned before send in rape cases death investigation the vital act is evidence collection psychiatric cases to reassure the mental health of the victim pediatric cases like as child trafficking cases mass disaster in which the implementation of triage in accidental cases which are prior to attend and which may wait legal consultancy in legal issues as we have played this role in case of occ one stop crisis center forensic role and criminal related cases like as chain of command that's all for today thank you assalamu alaikum